What's going on everybody? I've got a quick little video today, something I don't know will apply to many of you, but it's worth watching I guess if you're interested in it. As many of you know, I am a big, 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 big supporter of Bill of Technology and I love every single part that they've ever sent me. The only issue is with this one. This is the dipstick that I ordered from Bill of Technology a long, long time ago. The problem I've had with it is that I haven't been able to remember to keep it in my car because I usually end up riding with this one and it's for one main reason as you can see these are you know lined up right the billet tech dipstick is longer um, they may not seem like a big deal to some people but to me it's a big deal I have a stroker motor and it does eat oil now Let's look at how much of a difference there is. So, for instance, say I check my oil. And on the Billet Tech dipstick, it says, I have oil. Now, this sits deeper into the pan. So, technically, I would have to look at here to say, all right, I'm at the actual level I should be. Honestly, not having the right level kind of irks me, because what if I don't know that I... Because what if I don't know that I am short? You know, I, I don't know what's what's going to happen with that. I don't want any issues with my motor. I could be checking oil and it's absolutely telling me that I have more than I actually do. And that's not good. So I was uh, talking about that and Mr. SRT Mush himself, the uh, Mr. Greatness, Mr. Celebrity. See, he said that it was easy to swap these. And I said, what you talking about, Willis? What you talking about, mushy? So he uh, he basically told me that this unscrews. And I'm thinking to myself, all right, that seems logical enough. I'm gonna put you on a tripod and I'm gonna show you what I just discovered. Okay. So what I found, and granted this, I already loosened this, so this isn't as loose as it's about to look. But if you twist this, this is actually two pieces of machined parts. So we set that aside. Now I looked inside here and I said, okay, that's very strange. So I thought to myself, let's push through. So we push through. So here's the actual piece. And then there's this. Now, what <laughs> does this look like? Well, I could tell you exactly what this looks like. A lot like a stock dipstick cut. So, screw this yellow thing. I'm going to cut my OEM dipstick to this height, sand it off a tiny bit if I have to, and put it in there and see what becomes of this. And you're gonna come along. You're gonna come along for this journey. I just made two little red marks. I'm gonna pull out my Dremel and we're gonna cut it. I'm starting to get known around these parts for my dremeling because I don't know if I uh, I mentioned this before but I recently took part of my engine cover off because of my ice box you gotta you gotta handle adversity one step at a time I really need to get some kind of like rubber padding thing so that I don't mess everything up. Gonna get ourselves some safety. I think it looks pretty good. So we're gonna test fit it. Now, the way I know which one's which, it's because their dipstick had this little step lip here, and mine did not. So one thing I want to let you guys in on, this is the Billitech piece. Do you see how flush it is here? And I'm going to show you why and how we're going to try to fix this. So we clear with the, the, the thread from the bottom. We're not quite flush, and it's because the stock, the, the one that they come with, 
has a more flat area here. As you can see, it has more of a flat area. So we're gonna take a razor, as I started doing here, and just gently flatten this out a little bit. Now, you're gonna wanna go very little at a time. Okay, so here is the finished product. Now, I didn't get so flush like the other one, but I got it down enough where this tightened down quite a bit. It's super snug, it ain't coming off. I just checked, it measures perfectly. The dipstick sits where it needs to sit. It's not moving or swaying or bouncing up. I just checked my oil, which I actually need to put a cord in. <laughs> so this is awesome for a quick little video. Anybody that's willing to chop up their stock dipstick, if you have a Hellcat, I don't know if this pertains to anything else, but um, this one is a little bit too long. I will message Heidi about it anyway. I don't know if there's a slight change in the year of the Hellcat, because I know every time I turn around, there's some kind of thing that they changed. But for right now, this is what we got. It looks awesome. I'm gonna put it on right now. We're actually gonna go here together. I'm gonna try to do this lefty. Oh yeah, so we support it. I put that bad boy in there. Oh baby, like a glove. And that's really it, guys. You know, everything. everything's good. It sits the way it should. I have no problems. Nothing's loose. Nothing's cuckoo. And uh, that's about it. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like. I truly feel like it gives me all of the morale in the world. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. I have tons of content planned for the future in the comment section below. I would really appreciate it if you could let me know if you like these kinds of videos, these small little videos to say, oh, hey, if you have this situation, this is good. Otherwise, I don't know, if you're bored and you're, you know, you got the munchies and it's 3 o'clock in the morning and you want something to do because you ran out of food and you're, you got your high fading off. I don't know if you want to watch this, whatever you want to do. But I'm here. I'm here for your entertainment. Um, but like I said, I could start doing a lot more of these type of videos, little videos here and there, more personal videos. Oh, hey, I'm cleaning my wash bucket today, or I'm, I'm cleaning out all my wheel cleaning brushes today, or I'm emptying out a cabinet, I'm doing this, I'm changing my oil. Do you want those kind of videos so I get more content, or do you want me to save it up for, you know, the bigger stuff? So just give me a little bit of a insight below in the comment section. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate each and every single one of you. Have a great day.